Welcome to another edition of uh, Schmick's Plumbing, Stroke Engineering, Car Mechanics, call it what you want. Okay, so today is all about using force scan um, to diagnose a fault on my Fiesta. Um, I've managed to download a copy of force scan for Windows, totally free. I'll put a little link in the uh, description for you where it is. And um, what I've done now, I've ordered the cable off eBay. So uh, that one there, ELM327, modified for the Ford, not a bad little cable, it's got a USB on the, uh, USB on the other side, it comes with a little disc, um, I'm assuming there's going to be drivers on there, so that's the first thing that we're going to be installing, uh, get the drivers on the computer, and then check if the cable's working. Happy days. I know you might be having a look at the computer thinking that's a bloody ancient little thing there. But unfortunately that's the only laptop I got. Um, my other computer is just a big old desktop. Obviously can't be lugging that around to the car. Might look at might get a few funny looks off people. All right, let's have a look, see if this is uh loaded up. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm running Windows XP, but don't worry, same same procedure with all of them. Okay, that's taking a bit longer than I thought. Um, not to worry though. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what we're looking for, we're looking for that there. See that one there? That one there. The drivers. USB drivers. Shut that out. I should open up another little folder. Um, right, okay. So those folders there now are all for different um cables so have a look what cable you got i got a ch340 um see that one there ch340 like i say it's not a bad little cable so let's uh, install a driver for that So what we got, uh, yeah, install. Right, okay, yeah, let's try it again, having a few problems there. Driver is successfully pre-installed in advance. All right, no worries. Whatever that means. I think it just means it's installed. Right, let's get out of this. And uh, let's, have a, let's have a look just to make sure now it's uh, all working. Right, <clears throat> grab your cable. Or the USB part of it anyway. 
chuck it in there. Chuck it in there. See what happens when we go there. New hardware found. USB serial. Blah blah blah. CH340. Your hard new hardware is installed and ready to use. Sounding good. <clears throat> so have a look. Just make sure it connects up to uh, the program. Four scan on there. So uh, so I'll clip on this. The other one there. Connect to vehicle. Make sure this is blah blah blah. All that ignition is on. Don't worry about this. This is only just testing it out. Just to see if it's working. There you go. Check it's not it's not a Wi-Fi one. Um so we're checking on COM4. It says Connection to this connection to adapter has been established. Com4, so that's just telling you is working. It says unable unable to connect to vehicle. Yeah, but that's all right. Doesn't matter because I haven't uh, connected to the vehicle, and that's just showing when I used the last on my Ford. Right, so let's take it to the car now. Okay, so we're in the car now, and your diagnostic port is down here. Let's flip the lid, that's on a Fiesta now. Flip your lid down. Have a look in there, we can't see it, but it is there, trust me. It's a bloody tricky with one hand, anyway. There we go. Pop that in there. <clears throat> Here we are. Your lights will, your that light will come on. Just telling you that it's plugged in. Chuck your, your other end. Check your other end into the uh, computer. There you go. Right. Launch for scan. Right, launch for scan. Put your key to the first position. For fuck's sake. Lovely. Windscreen wipers are on. Right. Here we go. Um, now, let's connect it up. Press that little thing there. That little one there. A little message, your signal R. Uh, well, let's do what it says. And there you go. Connection to vehicle has been established. Yeah, that's your car, that one there. Okay. So we say it's telling us a few faults in there. Okay. So what we want to check? We want to check the faults. Click on the DTC. Right, so it's telling you there. It's got PO, PO420. PO420. It tells you what the fault is for. Already knew that anyway. Because I've checked it before. See what there? Threshold bank one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there at the bottom there. You can clear the codes. See you there? Them little triangles, that one is there to clear it, and that one is there to tell you what it's about. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear it. See you at the moment. I mean, see that ELM light was on when I was running it before, but I should go now. It's 
as a it'll reset action will reset that blah 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 are you sure yep yeah, of course I am okay please cycle ignition back on and off let's have a look it's gone Gone. I don't know how long it's going to be gone for because it's a catalytic converter fault or an oxygen sensor fault I don't know one or the other but anyway that's another story and that's another that's another video so anyway that's how force scan works to clear your faults happy days if you like it you know what to do see you later bye